All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. This hour, we are going to be uh, uh, talking about buying a suit. So we'll uh, we'll uh, go over some vocabulary words, okay, and then also practice a dialogue and see if we can get into some other exercises towards the end of class. Excuse me. So that's uh, that's the plan for this hour, okay. The uh, the link to the dialogue as well as the vocabulary words is in the chat box right now. Okay, I'll put it in both Verbling and Google. Okay, uh, now uh, during class I will I will only be in the Google chat. Okay, so if you write something in Verbling in the Verbling chat, I won't be able to see it because it doesn't populate for me. Okay. Um, our, all right, so let's uh, let's see here. Uh, Victor, Victor, Hello. how you doing? Hello, teacher Chad. I'm fine, thank you. How about you? <laughs> Do you hear me? I'm doing great. Nice to see you. Okay. Yep, I can hear you just fine. <laughs> thank you. Awesome. Good to have you. Uh, let's see, Trang. Trang is back. How you doing, Trang? Welcome. Yes, I seen you well. Okay, very cool. Uh, how about Oscar? How you doing, Oscar? Oscar, can you hear me okay? Okay, yes. Okay, how about... Yes, no. uh, oh, there you are. <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing good. I'm doing very good. Thank you. Welcome, uh, welcome back to class. Thanks. All right. How about, let's see, Luis. How you doing, Luis? Hi, Shed. How's it going? Uh, things are going well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Okay, I'm pretty good. All right. How about, cool, man, cool. How about Antonio? Hi there, Antonio. How you doing? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. Great, great. Okay. We have Amparo. Welcome back, Amparo. Hi, teacher. Can you hear me? Oh, Hi there. Okay. Yep, I can hear you just fine. I have to change the settings again. I don't know. I, I wasn't able to, <laughs> to hear you. I, I just I can see your, you were talking, but uh, I can hear anything. Oh, really? You can't, can you hear me now? Yeah, yes. That's why I was not. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So that's, that's. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, Joy, welcome to class. Hi, welcome back. Hi you. there. All right, good to see you again. And Gabor, how you doing, Gabor? Gabor, are you there? Maybe not so much. Okay, uh, keep working on your microphone there, Gabor. All right. Okay, you guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I put the link. Okay, I put the link to the uh, to the dialogue as well as the vocabulary words in the chat box. Okay, it should be both. It should be there in the Verbling chat as well as um, Google chat. Okay. Now during the class, I will only be in Google chat. So if you write something in Verbling. In the Verbling chat, uh, keep in mind I won't be able to see it because I don't switch over to that. It doesn't update for me. Okay, that's why I stay in Google. Uh, Verbling says they're trying to fix it right now, and I, I don't know what the what the deal is. Maybe uh, um, uh, Hangouts just doesn't like me. I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. Hi, Tan. Tan, welcome. How you doing? Thank you. I'm doing well. Excellent, excellent. Good to have you here. Okay, let's see. Let me make sure I've got the right class. Oh. All right. So, yes, today we're going to be talking about buying a suit. Okay. And uh, so we'll discuss the vocabulary words and then go over a, a basic dialogue. Okay. All right. So give me one second while this is... There we are. 
Okay, so let's start on our vocabulary words first. And uh, Amparo, we're going to start off with uh, with you. Okay. okay, go ahead and read our first word a and the company. definition. A company to follow. Okay, a company, yeah, to follow. All right. So when you have when you have something that uh, is accompanying, okay, something else, right? Um, it uh, goes with, all right. Uh, so there's two ways of using this word, okay. In this way, to follow, okay. Um, I I might say, um, Amparo, would you mind accompanying me to uh, to the coffee shop? Okay, that would be to go with me. All right, or to follow along with me. Okay, um, uh, we can use it in music. Okay, the accompaniment. Okay, or the accompany. That means the uh, if there is a musician or a, a singer that is singing. Okay, the musicians that are playing uh, around that person. That would be the accompaniment. Okay, or playing with that person. All right. If we're talking about uh, clothing. All right. Um, you would probably buy a suit and a tie to accompany the suit. All right. A tie which would go around your neck. Right. That would be that would accompany it. All right. So there's a there's a, a few different ways that uh, that we use this word. They all have similar similar meanings. But yes, all based around a company. Okay. All right. Let's go to our. Our next word here. Okay, this is for Antonio. Sharp, stylish, fashionable. There you go. S H sound all the way. Sharp. Okay. Okay. So um, now this is a word that's uh, that's typically that's typically used to describe a man. Okay. You say, uh, wow, looking sharp. Okay, so looking sharp. Okay, uh, that would be yes, fashionable. Okay, it's also meant to to look good. Okay, uh, you're not saying that you are interested in the person. Okay, uh, but you could say, yeah, no, he looks sharp tonight. Okay, he's dressed well. Okay, things like that. Okay, you can also say this about uh, a vehicle. Okay, you can say, wow, that vehicle looks sharp. Okay, it means that it's stylish. Okay, something new. Okay, maybe, uh, so if I got a new guitar, all right, and someone was complimenting the guitar, they go, wow, that guitar looks sharp. Okay, so stylish, fashionable. Okay, a computer. A computer looks sharp. And we say looks with it. That's the verb that we use with it. Okay, it looks sharp. Okay, uh, we would not use that to describe uh, a woman. Okay, for women, um, when they are stylish and fashionable, we say chic. Okay, it looks like the word chick, but it's chic. Okay, C H I C. Okay, chic. All right? Yeah, she looks chic. Okay, that means stylish, fashionable. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's uh, let's go to Gabor. Gabor, is your mic working for you? Yeah. <clears throat> there you go. Idea. Okay. Very good. Go ahead. So, uh, preferably, preferably, if one had the choice. Okay. So the stress is at the very beginning. Preferably. Preferably. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, so uh, if one had the choice, so preferably, um, I'd like to have pizza tonight. Okay, meaning if I had the choice, I, I would choose to eat pizza. I'd choose to eat pizza every night if I could, uh, but uh, I'd actually choose to eat ice cream every night if I could. Preferably, I'd like to eat ice cream for every meal, uh, but that uh, that does not work. Okay, so preferably and we usually put that at the beginning of a sentence okay so you could say preferably 
I'd uh, I'd rather learn English than French. Okay, uh, preferably, uh, I'd rather live in uh, in the UK than Australia. All right, so we start off the sentence with that word. Okay, preferably. Okay, uh, and remember the stress is at the very beginning of that word, you guys. Instead of preferably, okay, preferably. All right. Okay. Our next word here. This is for um, Joy. Go ahead, Joy. Broad, wide. Broad, wide. Okay. So wide. If you are um, not familiar with uh, what wide would be, okay. Um, let's see. Narrow and wide. Okay, good pictures, good pictures, good pictures. Okay, so if I were to uh, to look here, all right, this would be narrow. Narrow. This would be wide. Okay, so that is, uh, that is uh, a difference. Here's another difference here. This would be a narrow street. Okay, there's a wall right here and the sidewalk. This is a narrow, a narrow street. This is a wide street. Okay, so when we talk about uh, broad, okay, this word has uh, um, two different uses. Okay, broad, okay, meaning wide. Okay, if you're talking about um, broad, okay, it's it's usually um, in the shoulders. So when you get fitted for a suit. Or when you go and buy the suit, okay, um, they might say, okay, um, wow, you're broad. Okay, that means the distance between your shoulders from one shoulder to the next when you're standing still. Okay, um, some people aren't as broad as the others. Okay, I'm sort of a broad person. My shoulders, okay, stick out. I have a, a larger upper body. Okay, broad. Okay. Um, now, the other way this word is used, okay, it's uh, uh, back in the uh, 1920s and 1930s with Al Capone. All right. Um, sometimes uh, um, uh, in New York, they still use the word, okay, they call women abroad. Yeah, you see that broad over there? Okay, broad. All right. In some cases, if you're watching a movie or depending on how old the person is, they might call a woman abroad. Don't know why. Don't know why it became popular. But yes, she was uh, abroad at one point. Okay. Uh, spelled exactly the same. All right. Doesn't mean wide. It just means woman. Okay. Uh, all right. Very good. Let's go to our, our next one here. Okay, this is for Luis. Yeah, collar, a piece of fabric attached to the top of a shirt around the neck. Okay, good. Yes, collar. Collar. Instead of co collar, this is pronounced just like a, a tele someone who's calling on the telephone. Collar. Collar. Okay, collar. All right, so. Okay, um, let's look at a uh, suit, suit and tie here. All right, uh, one of my favorite people. Okay, Justin Timberlake. Okay, um, this right here, this is going to be your collar. Okay, so it goes around your neck. Okay, your shirt will have a collar as well as your jacket. Okay, your jacket will have a collar. This, you guys, is not the collar. It's not part of the collar. This is called the lapel. Okay, your collar is up by your neck. Okay, again, your shirt has a collar, and your jacket would have a collar. Okay, so that is uh, the collar, right? That lower portion is called the lapel. Let me type that for you. Lapel. Okay, lapel. 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 
Okay. Yes. All right. Very good. Let's go to uh, Oscar. Go ahead and read our next word, please. Yes. Impression. 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 The feelings one has after a specific event. Okay. All right. So, an impression. What's the impression that you get? Okay. After seeing a movie. All right. The feeling that you get. Okay. Uh, maybe you try on a new jacket. Okay. What's your impression? What's your impression of the jacket? Ah, uh, it's okay. I don't really like the design. Let's look for something else. Okay, you go and test drive a new car. So, what's your impression? Okay, we say, what's your impression? Uh, when we ask that, we're wanting to know what you feel or what you think about it. Okay, so after, after you do something, after a specific event happens, uh, an event could be trying on a pair of clothes, looking, or, or sorry, watching a movie, looking at a computer, okay, test driving a car if you go and drive a new car, okay, so with, the, with those, the salesperson might say, okay, what's, what's your impression? Okay, what are your feelings? Okay, what were you feeling? What were you thinking when you were doing that activity? Okay, what's your impression? Okay, all right, let's go to Trang. All right, go ahead and read our next word, please. This is met. Met to specification. Okay, all right, uh, that word is custom, custom made. Custom made. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, um, uh, here, here in Costa Rica, there there are a lot of uh, what would be um, uh, what would be called tailors. Okay, now a tailor, a tailor is typically a man. All right, tailor like that. Okay, a uh, a man that uh, um, fits fits you for clothing. Okay, and so they have they have a lot of tailors in the United States. There aren't a lot of them, mainly because we have these larger department stores where we can go and buy clothing. Okay, um, but I think there's something kind of cool and special when you have something fit to your body. Why? Well, I have one leg that's longer than the other by about a quarter of an inch. Okay, which is about four centimeters, right? And so, and so, if I were to just go buy a, a, a jacket and pants from a uh, from a department store, one leg, okay, one pant leg will be up higher than the other one. I don't know why I have one leg that's longer than the other, but I do, okay. Uh, but if I go to a tailor and have it custom made, okay, he can lengthen one leg so it doesn't look funny, right? So that it goes down to the to the right to the same distance on both sides. Okay? So, made to specifications. Now, uh, custom made isn't only used for clothing. Okay? Custom made can be used for uh, a car. Okay? So, uh, racing vehicles, those are custom made. Okay, um, maybe you have a backpack that's custom made for uh, hiking in a certain environment. Okay, uh, let's say uh, you um, you lose your you, you lose a limb. Okay, and you have to have an artificial uh, an artificial arm or something like that. Well, they have to custom make that for your body. Okay, because everybody isn't the same. All right, so the, that's how we would say custom made when it's made to a specific specification, made personally for you, okay, or for someone else, okay. All right, let's go to uh, Victor. Our next word, please. Alteration: a change made to the length. Or width of clothing to make it fit better. Better. 
Okay, good. Now this word here is pronounced width, width. Width. Good, yeah. So um, uh, when you, you get alterations, okay, it makes something longer, okay, or wider, okay? So if you uh, gain weight or lose weight, okay, then you can, um, it, let's say, so the words that we use, okay, if you need something longer, okay, we say lengthen. I need to lengthen my pants. If you need something shorter, okay, we say shorten, okay, or shorten, okay, shorten the arms, okay, the sleeves, sorry, so the sleeves or the uh, length of the pants, okay, I need to shorten, okay. Um, if, uh, if you are uh, getting, okay, if you are getting fat, all right, which happens to, to a lot of us as we get older, okay, if you need something wider, okay, we let it out, okay, so let out the waste, okay, so let it out, okay, if you need something, um, um, not wider, uh, not, we wouldn't say narrow here, okay, but if you're getting skinnier, okay, uh, well, why would we say that? I get we can I guess narrower to be narrow that would be called taking it in okay so if you want it eh, we don't really use narrow I can't think of the word <laughs> mainly because most of us uh, tend to get bigger <laughs> all right we rarely get smaller uh, but yes yeah, so if you need something uh, narrow okay uh, or more narrow Okay, if you need something more narrow, then uh, then you would say um, br uh, take it in. What is going on with my computer? Okay, uh, take it in. Okay, so these would be alterations, alterations to your clothing. So altering them, okay, changing them so that they fit better. Okay, so lengthen, shorten, let out the waist take in or take in the waist okay that means bringing it closer okay all right because you're getting skinnier okay uh, let's go to Tan yeah our next one here dry cleaning a cleaning process that use chemicals to clean clothes okay all right so a cleaning process that uses chemicals to clean clothes all right. Uh, I don't know if uh, if dry cleaning is popular in in your country. Uh, I haven't seen many places here in Costa Rica. Maybe one one or two, but I don't go very many places. It could be popular, right? Um, in in some cases, it's it's popular among some people in the United States. Uh, I've only gotten my clothes dry cleaned maybe once or twice in my life. Okay, because it can it can be rather expensive. Okay, but yes, you take it to a place, they clean it for you, and they do not use soap and water, they use chemicals. Okay, dry cleaning. All right, let's go to um, Amparo. Did, did Amparo come back? I know she left a message that she, nope, she hasn't come back. Let's go to uh, Antonio. Herringbone. Herring bound, a type of paddle, common on shoots that resembles thin, saw like lines. Okay, herring bone. All right, herring bone, a type of pattern. Okay, um, and let's see here. I want to. Oops. Okay, all right. Uh, so this is a, the the uh, it, it wouldn't be the cut of the of the clothing, okay, but the actual design of the of the cloth and how it's put together. All right. So this uh, it makes it makes sense uh, to me. This is how a, a lot of suits are are designed. Okay, where they have a uh, a design going up and down like 
this. Okay, a herringbone, a herringbone design. Okay, that would be herringbone. And our our last one here, this is for Gabor. Okay, garment, a piece of clothing. Good. So anything, uh, anything you wear, okay, would be considered a garment. All right. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a fancy word, really. Okay. Uh, so when I change, I don't say, well, I'm going to put on a new garment for for this afternoon. I say, no, no, I'm going to go put on a new shirt. All right, because my other one's sweaty or something like that. Okay. Uh, so garment. Okay, uh, is, is is typically used in a in a fancy setting, okay, or in a ritzy or uh, or maybe more professional setting. I guess if you're a tailor or a seamstress, okay, a seamstress is a woman that uh, that alters clothing, okay, or designs clothing. Okay, a tailor is a man, right? Um, then you would say garment. Okay, it's part of what you do. It's your profession, so they might say garment. All right. All right, but that is uh, all it is is a piece of clothing. Okay, all right, very good. Any questions here, you guys, with regard to our vocabulary words? No. Nope. Okay, very good. Let's go to our dialogue practice. All right, and we have a uh, a simple one here. It's not as long as. Uh, the others we have done in the past few days. Uh, let's start off with Joy. Okay, so this will be Joy and Luis. Joy will be A, and Luis will be B. Okay, go ahead, you guys. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hi, I need a new suit. I have an important interview next week, so I really need it to look sharp. No problem. We have a broad selection of suits, all tailor-made, so that it will fit perfectly. Great! I want a three-piece suit, preferable, preferably made from Italian cashmere or wool. Very well, sir. Would you like to have some shirts made also? Sure. I also take some silver cuff links and a pair of silk ties. Very good. Now, if you will accompany me, we can take your measurements and choose the patterns for your suit and shirt. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, taking measurements. All right. This is when you you are measuring Okay, measuring your body. Okay, so when you uh, when you get measurements, you guys. Okay, that's when. All right, so about right here. Okay, so they're they're going to measure from your like your chest. Okay, so they'll your shoulder width, right, as well as around your your whole body. Okay, so around here, and then they'll also measure your waist. Okay, and then the length of your legs, and then your your arms coming out. Okay, so from from here to here. Okay, so that's getting that's getting your measurements. Okay, that's that's what that means. They measure your whole body. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to go to uh, one word with you, Luis. Yeah. Okay. This is interview. The stress is at the very beginning of the word. Interview. Interview. There you go. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay, and then uh, nice, uh, nice question intonation uh, from you guys. I think uh, uh, Joy. Yeah, Joy, you had you you had very yeah. nice question intonation here. Okay. Uh, all right. Very good. Very good. Let's go to. Okay, let's go to Oscar and um, Trung. Yeah. Oscar will be B and Trang will be no. I'm sorry. Oscar will be A, and Trang will be B. Okay, go ahead. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hi, I need a new suit. I have an important interview next week, so I really need to look sharp. No problem. We have a broad selection of suits, all tailor-made. 
so that it will fit perfectly. Great. I want to read this thought. Preferably, preferably made from Italian cashmere wool. Very well. Sir, would you like to have some chairs made also? Sure. I will also take some silver cuff links and a pair of zinc ties. Very good. Now, if you will accompany me, we can take your measurements and choose the patterns for your switch and chairs. Okay, very good, you guys. Uh, let's go to let's go to this word here, Oscar. Uh, this word is pronounced suit. Instead of sweet, it's suit. 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 Uh -huh. suit. Uh, suit. So the I is going to be silent there. Okay, we wouldn't pronounce that. Suit. Suit. Okay. All right. Now, uh, let's go to uh, this question here, Oscar. Okay, and remember, we don't want to go up as high on today. Okay, you said today. All right, so it's, uh, hello, sir, what can I do for you today? So it's today, today, very slight, today. Yeah. Today. Right there you go. Okay, really small, really small, okay? Uh, very good, very good. And uh, Trang, nice job here, great. Great, yes. I want a three-piece suit. Okay, good intonation there, showing excitement. Showing excitement, awesome. Very cool, very cool. All right, now, uh, suits, you guys. Okay, you might be asking what's a three-piece suit and what is a two-piece suit? Uh, two-piece suit, okay. Two-piece suit is, is really just going to be a jacket, Okay, a jacket and uh, pants. Okay, oh, or you might call these trousers. They might they might call these trousers there. Okay, a three-piece suit would include a vest. Okay, so two-piece suit is just going to be the jacket and pants. Okay, three-piece would then include the vest on the inside. Okay, so that's why he's saying I want a three-piece suit. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's go to. Let's go to Victor and Tan. Uh, Victor, go. Uh, I'll have you be A, and Tan will be B. Okay. Go ahead, you guys. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hi. I need a new suit. I have an important interview next week, so I really need to lock up. No problem. We have a broad selection of suits, all tailor-made, so that it will fit, fit perfectly. Great! I want a three big suit, preferably made from Italian cashmere or wool. Very well, sir. Would you like to have some shirts made also? Sure. I also take some silver coupe links and a pair of silk ties. Very good. Now, if you will accompany me, we can take your measurements and choose the patterns for your suit and shirts. Okay, nice job, you guys. Victor, really good job with your question intonation. Okay, sounded really good. I do want to practice these two words together. Very well. Very well, sir. Try that. Very well. Very, Very good. Well. Okay, that's it. Nice job. Very well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Let's go to um, uh, Tan. And Tan, let's practice this word here. One of our vocabulary words. This is preferably. 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 Good. One more time. Preferably. Preferably. Okay. Excellent. And I want to practice the, this here. Okay. So this is. Three piece suit. Three piece suit. Three piece suit. Okay, pronounce a T at the end. Okay, on suit. Okay, three piece suit. Three piece suit. 
Okay. All right. Much better. Much better. Nice job. Okay. Good. Now, um, in here, you guys, um, he's talking about cufflinks. Okay. Cufflinks, small pieces of metal used to hold the end of shirt sleeves together. Okay. If uh, if that does not uh, make sense, okay, uh, you can't. Oh, he's got one right there. Okay. So if you look here. If you look here on his sleeve, right down here below, okay, he's got a cufflink. All right, that's what you put at, uh, to hold your shirt together. Okay, I used to love these. Okay, um, but I don't, I don't wear them anymore. All right, it would be uncomfortable to uh, teach English in a suit from uh, from from the house. So yeah, I got I got rid of a lot of my shirts with uh, with cufflinks in them, but I I loved wearing cufflinks. I really did. Okay, so these are cufflinks. Okay. All right. Very good. Nice job, you guys. Okay. Let's go to um, Amparo and Antonio. Uh, Amparo is A and Antonio is B. Okay. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hi. I need a new sh shirt. I have an important interview next week, so I really need to look sharp. No problem. We had a broad selection of suit. All tailor made so that it will fit perfectly. Right. I want a three piece suit, prefer preferably made from Italian cashmere or wool. Very well, sir. Would you like to have some shirts made also? Sure. I'll also take some silver cufflinks and a pair of silk ties. Very good. Now, if you will accompany me, we can take your measurements and choose the patterns for your suit and shirts. Okay, nice job. Let's uh, let's take a look at some pronunciations, you guys. So, um, Bardo, this word would mm -hmm. be measure, measurements. Measurements. Mej, with the z sound there. Measurements. Measurements. Okay, good. And let's practice the ch sound here. Okay, choose instead of shoes. Choose. 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 Okay, very good. All right, Antonio, let's practice this word here. The word is ties. Instead of ties, it's ties. Ties. There you go. Nice job. And up here we have the word uh, right here. Preferably. Okay, stress at the very beginning. Preferably. 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 Okay, one more time. Preferably. Preferably. Preferably, preferably. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see here. Okay, nice job, you guys. Uh, Amparo, good job with your question intonation. Okay, uh, throughout we only had a couple questions. Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys did really well. Okay, very, very good. Okay, uh, let's go to Gabor and Joy. Gabor, uh, B, please read A, and Joy will be B. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hi, I need a new suit. I have an important interview next week, so I really need to look sharp. No problem. We have a broad selection of suits, all tailor-made, so that it will fit perfectly. Great. I want a three-piece suit, preferably made from Italian cashmere or wool. Very well, sir. Uh, would you like to have some shirts made also? Sure. I also take some silver cuff rings and a pair of silk ties. Very good. Now, if you will accompany me, we can take your measurements and choose the patterns for your suit and shirts. Okay, nice job, you guys. Gawar, uh, great job with your uh, pronunciations as well as your intonations. Okay, your question intonation and um, this one here, no problem. Okay, very good. Um, uh, let's see, Joy, I want to practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, this right here. So, uh, a pair, a pair of silk ties, a pair of silk ties. A pair of silk ties. Good, no. good. Nice job. Nice job. Okay. All right. Nice job, you guys. Very good. 
All right, let's go to um, Luis and Oscar. Luis, uh, uh, please read A, and Oscar will be B. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hi. I need a new suit. I have an important interview next week, so I really need to love Charles. No problem. We have a broad selection of suits, all tailor-made, so that it will fit perfectly. Great! I want a three-piece suit, preferably made from Italian customary or wool. Very well, sir. Would you like to have some shirts made also? Sure. I'll also take some silver, cufflinks, and arm pile of silk ties. Very good. Now, if you will accompany me, we can take your measurements and choose the patterns for your suit and shirts. <laughs> Sorry, I had, I thought I was muted and I uh, unmuted uh, I muted myself. Okay, uh, good. Let's go to uh, this word here, Luis. Uh, yeah. The word is choose instead of choose. It's choose. Choose. There you go. There you go. Nice job. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go to. Okay, preferably. Right here, um, Oscar. Preferably. 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 Good. Stress at the very beginning. One more time. Preferably. 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 Okay. And let's also practice here. Okay. Uh, I really need to look sharp. I really need to look sharp. I really need to look sharp. Okay. Give me a P at the end of that word. Sharp. Sharp. Okay, very good. Very Thanks. good. Nice job. Nice job. Okay, uh, let's see here. Let's go to uh, Trong and Victor. Okay. Uh, Trong will be A, Victor will be B. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hi. I need a new suit. I have an important interview next week, so I really need to look sharp. No problem. We have a broad selection of suits, all tailor made, so that will fit perfectly. Great. I want a three piece suit, preferably made from Italian cashmere or wool. Very well, sir. Would you like to have some shirts made also? Sure. I'll also take some silver cufflinks and a pair of silk ties. Very good. Now, if you will accompany me, we can take your measurements and choose the pattern for your suit and shirts. Good. Nice job, you guys. Okay, Chong, good job with your question intonation. Okay, at the beginning. And both of you did, did a nice job showing excitement here. Okay, great. And as well as no problem. Okay, very good. Really good job. Really good job. Okay, um, and also uh, nice, nice job here, uh, Victor. On preferably putting the stress at the very beginning. Okay, mm -hmm. sounded good. Okay, really good, you guys. Okay, good. Let's go to Tan and uh, Amparo. Tan, go ahead and uh, be A, and Amparo will be B. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hi, I need a new suit. I have an important interview next week, so I really need to look sharp. No problem. We have a broad selection too. Oh, time and so that is win perfectly. Right. I want a three-piece suit, preferably made from Italian cashmere or wool. Very well, sir. Would you like to have some sort of silk ties? Oh, I think you uh, you oh, jumped one. I'm yeah, sorry. So, yeah. Start right here. Like one more time. Would you like to have some shirts made also? Sure. I also taste some silver cuff links and a pair of silk ties. Very good. Now, if you win a couple in me, we can take our draw measurement and choose the 
bottom of Frodo's suit and said, Okay, all right. Nice job, you guys. Okay, um, nice job, Amparo, with your pronunciations. Okay, as well as up here with great. Okay, I want a three-piece suit. Okay, now let's, uh, uh, Tom, let's practice some pronunciations here, and then I want to go over one, um, one question. Okay, so let's practice the S H sound. All right, the word is sh shirts. Shirt. Okay, one more time. Sure, Sh shirts. Third. Okay, almost, almost. Now, what you're saying is a s, okay? So you want to separate your teeth just a little bit more, okay, and purse your lips. That means, okay, let me show you real quick. All right, so uh, when when you're saying the SH sound, it's a, it's a, it's different, it's different than the S, okay? When you pronounce the S, uh, your mouth your mouth sort of looks like this, okay, and it's sort of wide, okay. With the sh, we do that, comes in, sh shirts. Okay, thank you. Okay, try try that for me. Sh shirts. Shirt. Okay, almost. Okay, so keep keep practicing that, seeing if you can get that sh sound. All right. Now um, okay. let's go to question intonation. All right. So when we ask a question, we want to come up. Okay, someplace in that question, we want to go upwards. Okay, with our tone. What I mean is, I can talk like this and talk like that all I want to. So it's going up and down. Okay. So here at the end. Okay, we're going to go up, right? So, would you like to have some shirts made also? So, I'm going also, da da, going up. All right, so let's try this, Tan. Would you like to have some shirts made also? Would you like to have some shirts made also? There you go. Yeah, so we go up, and that, that helps to indicate that it's a question as well. Okay, nice job. Yeah. Thank you, Tan. Okay, let's go to uh, Antonio and Gabor. This will be our last time through, you guys. Antonio is A and Gabor is B. Hello, Cher. What can I do for you today? Hi, I need a new suit. I have an important interview next week, so I really need to look sharp. No problem. We have a broad selection of suits, all tailor-made, so that it will fit perfectly. Great. I want a three-piece suit, preferably made from Italian cashmere or wool. Very well, sir. Would you like to have some shirts made also? Uh, sure. I also take some silver cufflinks and a pair of silk ties. Very good. Now, if you will accompany me, we can take your measurements and choose the patterns for your suit and shirts. Okay, very good. Very good. Nice job, Gabor, on your on your pronunciations. Really good job throughout the uh, um, uh, throughout this one here. Okay? Nice. Thank you. Um, uh, Antonio, nice job with your question intonations. Okay, here as well at the as the very beginning. Now you are you're definitely making some good progress with your sh sounds okay on yes. shirts okay so keep uh, practicing I, that. I practice all the day every day <laughs> <laughs> okay good that's a good thing yeah keep practicing that sh sound it's coming along it's sounding better and better every day okay, okay. all right very good any questions you guys uh, on uh, this dialogue and what we went through Nope. Okay. Uh, let's go to our our exercises here. <laughs> Waiting for it. Here we go. Okay. So uh, starting off with Joy. Okay, Joy. Uh, please read the first definition and match it to the correct the correct word on the right, please. A piece of fragment attached to the top of a shirt around the neck made to specifications, oh, colors, color. 
Good, yeah. So uh, that, that piece of fabric around the top of the shirt, around the neck. Okay, that is collar. Okay, and remember this O is, is more like an ah sound, so collar. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you, Joy. Let's go to Oscar. Yes. Our next one, may, please. Uh, may to may to a specific inch. Uh, custom made. Excellent. Now, in uh, in our reading, they also use the the word tailor made. Okay. Uh, when you're talking about clothes, you can say custom made or tailor made. All right. But you cannot talk about something else being tailor made. All right, custom made can fit into different categories, okay, like a car or a backpack or whatever it may be. But tailor made uh, is only for clothing. Hmm. Tailor made, okay. Uh, very good. Let's go to um, Trung. Oh, yes. sorry. Um, okay, so um, this this would mean that our last one here would be alteration. Okay, so uh, making something fit better. Remember, we used words like lengthen, okay, shorten, um, uh, take a, take in, okay, to make it smaller, take it in, or let let it out, let out the waste. Okay, all right. So Trung, let me have you uh, read this one here and match it to the uh, correct word. Pick one head the choice, preferably. Good, preferably, if one had the choice. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Let's go to Victor. Mm -hmm. A piece of clothing. It's a garment. Okay. Now, uh, Victor, is this word used often? Is this a typical word that we use to describe clothing? No, it's uh, only for tailors. <laughs> Yeah, it's only for tailors. It's a, it's for that profession. Okay, we were we wouldn't say that uh, 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 quite often. Uh, more commonly, is more commonly is word uh, apparel. Apparel, yeah, apparel, <laughs> um, uh, or you know, clothing as well. Okay, something nice, mm -hmm. nice and simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay, very good. Um, a cleaning process that uses chemicals. This is going to be dry cleaning dry cleaning okay uh, good um, our next one here this is Tom the feelings one has after a specific impression okay impression try that one more time impression In impression okay good and our question that we use or uh, we uh, typically use this with is we say what's your impression all right. What's what's your impression? How do you feel about that? What's your impression? Okay. All right. Good. Let's go to Ambato, and our next one here. White blood. All right. Very good. How else is the way? How else uh, do we use the word broad? I don't know. <laughs> okay. We use it to uh, a, back a, a long time ago. Okay, in the 20s or so, um, you might hear this in movies. Okay, they would call a woman a broad. All right, so if you hear that, hear that, and say, "Hey, did you check out that broad on the corner?" All right, that would mean uh, a woman. Just a woman, uh, not not uh, not white woman. <laughs> <laughs> not not a white woman. No, it's it's just a, a woman. Yeah, I don't know why they 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 started calling them broads. But they did. Yeah, it would just be a woman. Okay. And uh, all right, that would mean our last one here is uh, is sharp, stylish, fashionable. Okay. Now we only use this uh, this word, okay, for men. Right. What's the word that we use for women, you guys? Do you do you remember? Chic. 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 Yeah. Yes. Chic. Okay. So a woman is chic. Okay, a woman is chic, a man is sharp. Okay, or looking sharp. All right, we wouldn't say uh, uh, you can. You could say, "Wow, that woman." Yeah, we would say looks with both of them. So that woman looks chic. 
Yeah, she looks chic today. Um, mm. sh sharp. He looks sharp. Looks. Okay, that's the verb that we would use. I with understand. Okay? Very good. All right, you guys. Uh, nice job. Thank you for, for coming into class. Uh, let me make sure that you have the uh, link again to the dialogue and the vocabulary words. Okay, I'm putting that in the uh, chat boxes right now. Okay. Uh, all right. Very good. And uh, tomorrow I'll be back with another uh, uh, with another uh, practice, a dialogue, and some vocabulary words that we'll go over. Okay. Next up is my uh, role playing class. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see ya. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 B